Of all the birth control options, which are the worst at preventing pregnancy? We're gonna find out right now. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. When it comes to talking about how good a birth control option is at preventing pregnancy, there are two important definitions to know, which are typical use and perfect use. Typical use is how good the option is for the average person. They may forget to use it, or they use it incorrectly, or it breaks, and these problems make it less effective. Perfect use is how good the option is in a perfect world when it's used correctly every time. This video and the next will cover the birth control options that are statistically the worst at preventing pregnancy, based on typical use. They are all between 70 to 85% effective, which means out of 100 people using these options, 15 to 30 will still become pregnant. In a perfect world though, these options can be over 90% effective. And remember, like the first video mentioned, there are other characteristics of birth control that might make one of these options more appealing than the more effective options. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. In no particular order, the worst options are the cervical cap, internal and external condoms, the diaphragm, menstrual timing, also known as fertility awareness or natural family planning, spermicide, the sponge, and the withdrawal method. Now let's learn about the other characteristics that might impact your decision. Some, like cost or your friend's experience, won't be covered because they'll vary. The cervical cap acts as a physical barrier. It is a silicone cup that covers the cervix to block semen from entering the uterus. It must be inserted into the vagina properly every time before you have sex. It's easy to use once you learn, and it's not invasive. You can't use it if you or your partner have an allergy to silicone. It does not contain hormone and has no side effects. You have full control whether you use it or not, and it's 100% reversible because you remove it after intercourse. But it's not the most private because others may see it when you aren't using it, and your partner might be able to feel it while you're having sex. The external condom is a sheath that is placed over the penis and it holds the semen during ejaculation. It is easy to use once you or your partner learn to put it on, and it is not invasive. You cannot use them if you or your partner have an allergy to latex, but there are latex-free versions. It does not contain hormone and has no negative side effects. It is, however, one of the few options that protects you from sexually transmitted infections. You and your partner have full control, but you have to remember to use it every time. It is reversible, but there is no privacy since you have to pause a couple of seconds to put it on. The internal condom is quite similar to the external condom, but rather than going onto the penis, it is a sheath placed into the vagina that acts as a protective lining and contains the semen during ejaculation. It's easy to use once you or your partner learn to insert it. It is not invasive and they are not made of latex, so they're safe for people with allergies. They do not contain hormone, and they have no side effects. Like the external condom, they do protect against STIs. You have full control in using one, but you have to remember to use it every time. It is reversible, as it's removed after intercourse, but it's not private, because it takes a couple of seconds to insert it, and the edges remain visible outside of the vagina. The diaphragm is almost exactly the same as the cervical cap, except they are shaped differently and can be left inside the vagina for a different length of time. The diaphragm is also a silicone cup that covers the cervix and blocks semen. It must be inserted into the vagina every time you have intercourse, but it is easy to use once you learn how to use it. You cannot use it if you or your partner have an allergy to silicone. It does not contain hormone and has no side effects. You have full control in using it, but it is required every time you have intercourse. It is moderately private because you could insert it earlier before intercourse, but your partner might be able to feel it or others might see it after you've removed it. Stay tuned for the next video, which will cover the rest of the worst options. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.